I was 14 when I met my wife in Utqiagvik, in Mero. So this was my first time going to a school and there are girls. So, you know, so I was like, wow, you know, there, there are girls here. You know, so I was looking around, not knowing anybody, and then I saw my wife. I just thought she was, you know, the prettiest girl I've seen up at that point. My name is E.J. David. I am a professor of psychology at the University of Alaska Anchorage. I'm married to a Koyukon Athabascan woman from the village of Ruby in the Yukon River. Together, we have three Filipino Athabascan children. So my wife and I have known each other since we were 14 and 13. Almost all our lives, we've been together. So I just had a crush on her. I asked her if I could walk her home, you know, after school. And one day she said yes. That's when we started getting to know each other. So when we were about 16, I started learning more about her Athabascan side and how she's, you know, proud, so proud to be Athabascan and how connected she was, you know, to that part of herself. Here's someone who I admire. It was amazing, you know, and she is also proud of her roots and of her heritage. And then here I am, who cannot pass as white, trying so hard to get rid of this, you know, of my Filipino-ness. I was born in the Philippines. Growing up here as a 14-year-old immigrant, I really just wanted to fit in. I was in eighth grade and I wanted to be accepted by my peers. You know, I remember them kind of joking around, kind of like calling people fobs, and, you know, made me feel quite inferior, really, uh, because I was a newly arrived immigrant. I was getting the message that, all right, I needed to get rid of my Filipino-ness for me to be accepted here. But during one of my class breaks, during my junior year of high school, you know, I went to my locker and I was reading through those messages because it was game day. But then I saw this one message that said, you're Filipino, act like it. You know, my son is in kindergarten. And so just a few months ago, he had his first picture day ever uh, at school. You know, I didn't bring it up. You know, that's just what he said. I said, I'm going to wear a barong. I don't think I would have been brave enough to, to even think about wearing a barong to school. It kind of showed me some evidence that, you know, what we're doing might be working at least. trying to teach our kids to, to be proud of their roots, to see themselves as, you know, just as Filipino and just as Athabascan as other folks. I don't want them to feel like they're less Filipino than other Filipinos or that they're less Athabascan than other Athabascans. You know, I want them to, to be fully proud of that and to be, you know, fully engaged and, and feel like they fully belong because I really consider their heritage, you know, as a source of strength, you know, and we want them to benefit from that, from both communities. My son, my 11-year-old, every time we come here, he's like, is there gonna be lumpia? Is there yeah. gonna be pancit? <laughs> yeah, pancit, I know. That's like, he doesn't say hi, just like, is there pancit here? <laughs> what kind of well is it? Bohik? Well, maktak. This is traditional food for the Inupiaq people, um, you know, in the northern parts of Alaska. And uh, what it is, is it's whale. It's whale blubber. I just came from um, where EJ grew up, Utkialwik. I was just there yesterday. And so I just got back and um, Mo, Margaret, his wife, um, I found out yesterday that she was the midwife that helped 
my sister-in-law throughout her pregnancy and my nephew was just born yesterday. So we found out by accident that she was the one. And so I wanted to bring Muk Tuk with her family just to say thank you for taking care of my family always. I've heard you talk about that too with Kalu and his school picture. Yes, yes, yeah. You know, and how yeah. our children are experiencing a pride in mm -hmm. who we are and where mm -hmm. we come from in a way that we weren't able to, that our parents weren't that's able right. to. That's right. And that's healing that's happening in real time. In real time. I look at my children and I see hope because I think about that. Like, how will my children see me when they look back? Or are they going to see a father who kept fighting and kept resisting and kept trying to do better. I consider Alaska uh, to be my home. Yeah. My kids are both Filipino and Athabascan. And if we want to put numbers to it, we say, yeah, you're 100% Filipino and you're 100% Athabascan. And if people say, well, whatever, that doesn't make sense, you know, because then that's 200%. You know, and then we teach our kids is it doesn't need to make sense because superpowers don't make sense. And for us, you know, that's how we're trying to teach our kids is that their roots are their superpowers. <laughs>